Technology Is, a U.S. Farm Report special report, is brought to you by John Deere. Well, ag tech continues to evolve, and while some ideas that were around a decade ago were still just ideas, many of the concepts and systems may already be at play. This weekend, we explore why with technology is the future. Robots taking over farm fields, autonomous tractors planting crops, these futuristic views of technology that surfaced a decade ago may actually be a glimpse at what's already reality today. We're seeing on average a 77% reduction in uh, chemical use on those fallow ground acres. This seed spray technology is just that, only spraying when weeds are detected. And the concept of machine learning is one that could be the base for more ag tech advancements in the years ahead. A brand new autonomous platform for scout and apply based on the site specific insect incidence and severity. This autonomous vehicle was built by researchers at Kansas State, packed with powerful technology to scout fields. We are going within the rows, you can see the underneath of the leaves and we can assess uh, what the crop needs, whether it is chemical or insects and you know management and all that. Technology tools like this may also relieve one of the biggest pain points for farmers, labor woes. Can I replace labor with potentially technology, giving me whether that's scouting insight so I don't have to send someone to the field, or you know, we're talking about automation in the machines, almost robotic. You know, is there a time in my operation where I might have to, to basically have a machine that drives itself? And we're seeing that. The Purdue CME Ag Economy Barometer in June found nearly two-thirds of respondents expressed either some or a lot of difficulty hiring adequate labor, compared to just 30% in 2020. This facility in Indiana grows lettuce autonomously with a human never touching the product they produce. And while growers of everything from lettuce to asparagus are seeing robotics answer the need, Rantizo, a company that uses drones to spray crops, is bringing technology-based solutions in traditional row crops as well. In traditional application, you end up spraying the entire field, but for Rantizo, our specialty is actually site-specific application. Based in Iowa, Rantizo's technology can fly and apply everything from pesticides to micronutrients, even interceding cover crops. We feel that technology in the ag space is really just going to ramp up with more investment, more adoption. Indiana-based company Tyrannus works with ag retailers to use precision technology and drones to scout fields. We bring insights, actual leaf level precise insights from their fields to their mobile app. Mike DiPaolo says by using aerial imagery and AI-driven technology, the Tyrannus platform can cover more than 100 acres in just six minutes. And we can do it at sub-millimeter resolution, which means you can act on it. Our deep learning with artificial intelligence and computer vision, we have over 50 million images at high resolution. While Tarana says the tool is helping farmers, it's also easing some of the scouting pressure on ag retailers today, as those retailers are also diving into the digital evolution in ag. We use Amazons, we use the Googles. I mean, farming is, is going under the same um, evolution. So I think farmers want to be recognizing that. From selecting seed to making marketing decisions, those decisions will be even more precise. Can you do a predictability based off of history? Uh, we've had these conditions and this will be the outcome. Just looking at, uh, you know, it's all data, so just crunch the numbers, run it through, and uh, see what the outcome might be. Decisions that may also stem from automation. If we can automate that process of cleaning yield monitor data, if we can automate the process of analyzing data, then that's going to be the key to the future. A Farm Journal Technology survey found today 77% of farmers say they do not currently collect detailed machine data, such as transportation time and fuel use, an area that has room to grow. You know, I think we can get down to uh, maybe row by row on our, on our corn heads and, and looking at uh, you know, what machine impacts are, what the planners do, what the tillage passes do, look at a lot more uh, uh, minor data, if you will. We gotta get the big data right first and then we'll move down to the, the, the smaller stuff that we can actually uh, affect. Well, we've explored everything from calculating the ROI of technology to how you can become even better at harvesting data. You can find all of those stories in our Technology Is series by going to agweb.com technology. All right, the chase to capture carbon and curb climate change customer support is next. 
farmers and greenhouse gases.